Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of the Loan Officer Wealth Podcast. It's just you and I, and today we're going to talk about a massive breakthrough that I've discovered, and I'm going to show you how to generate the highest quality online leads that you can generate in your business. And this strategy works in the mortgage industry, the real estate industry, the insurance industry, the wealth management industry. We are generating exceptionally high quality leads, better than we ever have using this strategy. Now, with one word of warning okay there are three ways to grow your business your past customers your referral partners and your marketing and your advertising and we have we're coming up on 100 episodes and we have interviewed some of the top 20 percent of the entire mortgage industry and on almost every single occasion when i ask those people where their business is coming from it's referrals from past customers and it is referrals from referral partners we had colleen wood with the 40 by 4 uh wally elibieri talking about how he asks every single client on the application who their wealth manager is who their insurance professional is who their title company is there is so much business to be done when it comes to referrals so in growing your business you should be heavily focused on doing the database activator to your past customers every 90 days again we can make those phone calls for you with our concierge service if you're not currently making the phone calls yourself you will make more money when you run the database activator to your past customers every 90 days then you should be making at least one dedicated effort every single day to meet with a new referral partner Our concierge agents, on average, book five qualified realtor referral appointments per day per concierge. So you can be working with one of our concierge agents and they can give you an appointment a day if you can handle that type of volume in your business. But those are the two main growth drivers. Now, if you have all that dialed in, you have appointments coming from all of those areas, then we get to focus on marketing and advertising because all of those clients and customers that you're bringing into your business right now are a massive asset that you can leverage to get deals from what I call your third greatest referral partner opportunity, which is Google. Because if you think about it, every single day, there are more people in your local marketplace that are going to Google and asking for mortgage lender near me or mortgage broker near me or who's the best real estate agent near me or wealth manager near me or insurance agent near me, okay? Those people are at the very end of the buying cycle. And when they do a Google search, there is a map placement that shows up on the front page. Now, this is gonna be an interactive episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, fantastic, you get the visuals. If you're just listening to us, um, you can go back. We'll have in the show notes, a link to the YouTube video where you can go and watch it. If you do, please hit the like button subscribe to the channel. If you hit like, it just helps us get this message out to more people. We're really trying to kick up that YouTube algorithm right now. So I'm going to do a search here for Orangeville Mortgage Broker. Orangeville is the town that I currently reside in with my beautiful family. And my dad, uh, who is semi-retired at this point, still does a couple of mortgages here and there. So he had zero business presence in this marketplace roughly 90 days ago. And what I did was I created this Google business page for him, created the website for him and used artificial intelligence in order to get it ranked on the front page. And you can see when you search Orangeville mortgage broker in our local marketplace, he shows up in the number one spot. He's got 10 five star ratings and reviews and the phone calls have already started to come in. Now he would be getting more phone calls if he had more ratings and reviews. And that's where the deals that you're closing right now turn into this new pipeline of high quality consumers because the more ratings and reviews that you get on your google business profile i'm not talking about facebook i'm not talking about zillow no other source is as important to your business as the reviews that you get on google okay because when people are at the end of the buying cycle and they want to speak to a mortgage lender they want to submit an application they actually want to do a deal they go to google and they call the businesses that are in the map placement based on different studies that i've seen from google and from other seo companies and just people that are out there roughly 70 percent of all of the traffic happens in this map placement when there's somebody in a local marketplace that's looking to find a local professional so this is the money traffic i had carl white um well, i did a podcast episode on his podcast and they tracked this over a year and 17 percent of the leads that they got from a phone call on google funded 17 percent of the leads 
funded. That means if you get 100 phone calls from the front page of Google through this source, you fund 17 deals. If you compare that to Facebook leads or even Google leads that you buy, the closing ratio on them is astronomical. And the reason being is because they're looking for you in the local marketplace. They've read your ratings and reviews, so they're pre-sold on working with you. All you have to do is pick up the phone when they call and do a good job on the intake process and the application process, and you have a great opportunity in order to win those deals. Now, that leaves us with the question of how do you actually get ranked and how are we using artificial intelligence to rank our clients in this three pack? Well, I'm going to teach you exactly what we do on this podcast episode. So let's get started. Let's take a marketplace and I'm going to just, um, we're going to take into account Memphis. Let's go to Memphis, Tennessee. And we're going to Google Memphis mortgage lender. And you can see uh, one of our previous clients, uh, Wendy Thompson, um, to be completely clear, Wendy is not currently paying us for SEO services, but she did uh, previously and is still enjoying this front page ranking. And Wendy is just amazing. I mean, look at this 192 five star ratings and reviews from asking every single client that she does business with in order to leave here a five-star rating and review. And I'll give you a ninja tip. This is our pro tip for today's episode. When you ask your clients for a five-star rating and review and you're on the phone with them, have a keyboard shortcut in your phone, <laughs> title it reviews. And in there, it says, here's where you go leave me a Google review. And you have a shortcut to your actual Google business profile. So when people click on that link, it opens it up right where they can leave you the rating and review. And when you ask people to leave you a review, what do they say? They say, yes, of course, I'll leave you a review. How many of them actually do it? <laughs> Very few, right? So we've discovered this with our concierge agents calling people's databases, going out to get five-star ratings and reviews and testimonials and referrals. What we do is we say, hey, look, would you leave us a five-star rating and review? They say, yes. We said, great. I'm going to shoot you a text message right now. Did you get it? Yes, I got the text message. Okay, there's a link in there. Go ahead and click that because sometimes Google's weird and we have clients that have trouble leaving ratings and reviews because sometimes the process is janky or it breaks. So I'm just gonna stay on the phone with you and help you through the process just to make sure that you don't have any problems. Is that okay? You say yes. 30 seconds later, you have a five-star rating and review because you have stayed on the phone with them and walked them through the process of actually leaving the review for you. You can easily double the number of reviews that you're getting when you're doing your database calls and when you're doing your closing calls just by staying on the phone with people, texting them the link and going through the process with them. So uh, Wendy does a phenomenal job of that. And she is technically the person that we're going after in the Memphis market to bump her out to put a new website in here in this hypothetical situation that I'm walking you through. But when I go to a marketplace, this is the exact research that I do to build the plan in order to put our client into the three pack. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Wendy's website. We're going to take this website and then we're going to head on over to a tool called Ahrefs. Now the link that you need here is ahrefs, R-E-F-S dot com forward slash backlink dash checker. You can go to Google, type in ahrefs backlink checker, the link will come up for you. There's going to be a white box on the front page and you're going to paste in your competitor's website and you are going to click on check backlinks. It will verify that you are a person and then it will pull up a report. Now, what is a backlink? Why is it important? All a backlink is, is when another website on the internet has put your website as a link on their site. So if people click on the link on their site and it redirects them to your website, that's called a backlink. And when all of the nerds and incredibly talented and smart engineers at Google all got together and said, okay, how can we tell if a business is reputable? they decided that one of the main ways that they could tell across all of the different websites across all the different niches across all of the different industries was the number of websites that trusted a site enough that they would actually redirect their traffic potentially to this other source it would have to be reputable because if one website was willing to risk their reputation and give it to another website that would denote that the website is quality. 
right? So that's what a backlink is and that's why it's important. So when you get good quality backlinks, your domain rating goes up. And a domain rating is basically a mathematical equation where if you can get the domain rating of your website higher than the competitor in your local marketplace, you will eventually outrank them. It's not instant, but it's pretty much the main metric that we're looking at to determine how long it's going to take and how easy it's going to be for you to actually outrank your competitor. Now, the way that you increase your domain rating is by building really high quality backlinks to your website. So if you think about this, um, the best way to get a local backlink is from your referral partners, your realtors, your financial planners, your investment advisors, your local contractors, any local business owners that you know, if it is a local website that's run by an actual business and you can get them to point a link from their website to your website, that will dramatically increase your domain rating and your authority with Google in your local space. So all you do is you take this tool, you take the number one competitor in your marketplace, you look at their domain rating, then you take your website and you punch it into the tool and you see what your domain authority score is. And then you know how much work you need to do to get from where you are to where you want to be. So that's backlinks. Um, there are three main factors that come into ranking a website. One is your location. So that's where your office is located. And you can't really do anything about that, right? We have to list our businesses at our office location. You can also use your home location and hide it. Um, totally up to you on how you do that. And if you have questions about that, I'm gonna give you a link at the end of the episode where you can get on the phone with one of our specialists and they can actually walk you through and analyze your market for you and show you whether or not you can rank in the marketplace. And then we can obviously do the work for you to get you ranked, but we'll get on the phone with you and walk you through the process so that we know whether it's attainable because we only want to work with clients that we can actually get into the rankings right so we'll help you do all this research if you want um and so we'll give you a link and there's a link in the show notes uh where you can actually book a one-on-one -on -one call with our team so we're going to check your competitors backlinks we're going to check your backlinks and see uh where your authority score is so now the third ranking factor there's your location your backlinks and your quality score and then there's authority and authority is built through content. And I'm about to show you something that's basically, it's my big secret on the SEO thing and how I've been able to take three websites now in less than 90 days and take them from absolutely zero, like not, did not exist to the front page of Google in the three pack in 90 days. So check this out. I'm going to go back to Google and I'm going to search Memphis mortgage lender again. And you can see here, the most valuable real estate up here at the top is the three pack with the businesses. Then we have wallet hub which is got an incredible domain score, a cr incredible authority. You're probably not going to be able to bump them out of the rankings, but look what's underneath here. In some of the most valuable real estate that exists on Google, there's this section that says people also ask. Now this is called a knowledge panel. And this is information that Google is pulling from what people are actually searching on the internet. And this is location based. So if I go do this search for a town in Texas, or I do it in Florida, or I do it in California, the questions are completely different because Google is pulling these questions from people that are actually in Memphis. And what Google is doing is they're looking at what are people searching before they search mortgage lender? What are people searching after they search mortgage lender? And what are the most frequently asked questions in this local marketplace about mortgage lending? then they are taking those questions and putting them on the front page in this knowledge panel. Well, this is exceptionally important for us because these are the most frequently asked questions. So A, it's going to tap you into great search traffic that has a bunch of people that are searching for it. So this is what bank is headquartered in Memphis. And so there's Wikipedia that has given an answer, but Google actually wants to give information from a website that is in the mortgage lender category, right? So they're using Wikipedia just because Wikipedia has a high domain authority and they have the answer to the question, but what they would really like is a local business that they could feature this information from. So check this out. We are getting the most frequently asked questions right here on the front page of Google. The reason why Google is doing this is because they have a stated goal of getting the internet to a point where people don't have to visit websites anymore. Google wants you to be able to find the products, the services, and the answers to the questions that you ask of Google 
right on the front page of Google without you having to go anywhere and do anything. You need to be able to find the answers right away, right? And so what they're trying to do is make it so that when people have questions about mortgage lending, they get all the answers right on the front page. And they're doing this for every topic in every local business. Now look at this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a Google business profile. When you look at a Google business profile, there's this brand new section that they've added called questions and answers. Well, how about that? Google's giving some of the most valuable real estate on the front page to the knowledge panel and filling it with the most frequently asked questions from people in the local marketplace. And then they're giving us a tool in our Google business profiles in order to get and answer questions through our Google business profile. So how do you take advantage of this? And how does AI fit into all of this? Well, the first thing that you do is you go out, you create a Google profile, and you start asking questions of businesses online. And that's what we've done. We've created all of these different profiles that are out online that are asking questions to Google business profiles all day long, right? Then you ask your Google business page the number one question that was on the front page of Google. So the number one question here is what bank is headquartered in Memphis? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this question, I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna head on over to chat GPT. Now, we know that the Google search engine is now a languaging engine and they are starting to use more and more artificial intelligence to determine which websites have authority and who should show up on the front page of Google. So I'm gonna start a new chat with ChatGPT, and I'm gonna say, what bank is headquartered in Memphis? Make this content relevant to the search phrase, Memphis mortgage lender. I cannot talk and type at the same time. I'm one of those dudes. So what I've put in here is what bank is headquartered in Memphis? Make this content relevant to the search phrase Memphis mortgage lender so we can rank on that keyword when people search it in Google. So I'm going to give that prompt to OpenAI or ChatGPT and it's going to come back and write me an article and an answer to that specific information. Now, a couple of snippets here. You may have to prompt ChatGPT multiple times in order to get this content the way that you want it. You can tell it to make it shorter. You can tell it to make it longer. You can take it, you can make it more specific, less specific. You can get it to add in your own information that you want to add to it. So you may have to play with this a little bit, but once you're done with it, highlight it, make sure that you don't just hit uh, copy all because it will uh, copy this regenerate response button down at the bottom and put it in your content. And that's a dead giveaway that you're using AI to create this content. So what we do is we take this answer, we copy it, and then we go back and we do a question and answer with your Google business profile so that when Google looks at what are the top questions in the marketplace, your Google business profile has all of the top questions already on it with the answers done in a way where artificial intelligence knows how to read it, likes the formatting of it, and gives it a great quality score. And instantly, you become the most knowledgeable mortgage lender in your local marketplace answering the questions that Google is getting and that Google wants the answers to in your local marketplace. Now, a couple of other things that I want to touch on here. So again, if you go back to your Google business profile, you will notice that there is also a section for products and services. So you've got this product and services section. It is very important to fill this out. What you are doing is you are adding yourself to new keyword categories when you fill out the product section of your Google business profile. And so Google has silos of keywords. Basically, there's different topics within the mortgage industry. So when you rank for mortgage lender, Google's got a pretty good idea that you're going to help with 30 year mortgages, 15 year mortgages, but it's not quite sure about, do you offer VA? Do you offer refinance? Do you offer commercial? What type of mortgage lender are you? And every product that you place in the Google business profile 
gives you access to the keywords that are related to that specific mortgage product. So you want a section for first time home buyers. You want a section for refinance. You want a section for VA. All of the different mortgage products that you offer, you want to make sure that there's a product section on your Google business profile that relates to that. You also want to make sure that you have information on your website, specific pages for every single product. And then you want to make sure that that's um, it's optimized for the search engines in the code of your website. We're not going to get into that uh, in the podcast episode because uh, some of you may be listening to this while driving and I don't want to put you to sleep because that's dangerous. So we'll stay away from how to actually code your website properly and move to look, get your products on your Google business profile. And then there's one other thing. We've got products, we've got questions and answers, and then we actually have your location. So this is really interesting because on your website, you can expand your rankings and how much traffic you're getting by creating educational based content on the locations that surround you. So if we take this example of Memphis and we click on the map, you can see that Google highlights different areas in different styles of fonts. Um, and obviously the larger the font, the more emphasis is on that location. So what you do is you go to the map and you zoom out so that you can see all the different areas that are around you. And so we can see around Memphis, there's Arlington, there's Millington, there's Marion, there's Horn Lake, there's South Haven, there's Byhalia, all of these locations. Well, your website can tell Google that you want customers from those locations by having a specific page for each of these areas. So what do you do? You take one of these areas, you go to chat GPT and you say, become my personal research assistant, find out all of the interesting things about Millington, and then write me a 1000 word article talking all about the, um, the locations and make sure you get me the links to all of the locations that are relevant in this location. And ChatGPT will spit you out an article that talks about the town hall, how long it's been around, relevant businesses, all kinds of amazing stuff that you can pull from ChatGPT about that place. You take that article, you put it on your website, you publish it as content. Again, the code matters. You want to make sure it's geo-indexed to the location on the code, but you build out your authority in all these locations so that when Google looks at, okay, what mortgage lender is an authority in each of these marketplaces, all of a sudden you're the only one that's answering the most frequently asked questions, giving good content, and you have a location on your website specific to a very large area. So instead of just getting traffic from 10 or 15 miles around your office, you're now getting citywide. And we have some clients that are ranked statewide for people that are searching for mortgage lender by using this strategy on how we produce location-based content on the website. So that is our deep dive and how we're using AI to get our clients ranked for the highest quality leads that you can possibly generate from the internet. And I would love to do this for you. Now, if you're brand new to the industry, you don't have a website, you don't have any ratings and reviews, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You need to start by claiming your Google business profile and asking every single person that you do business with to leave you a five-star rating and review. Build that over time and eventually you will have the momentum that you need in order to rank. But if you are working for a large national mortgage company and you've got that footprint, if you already have five star ratings and reviews on your profile, if you're doing good business, you have volume, you're a branch manager, you've got volume in the business, but you're not getting daily phone calls from people off of Google, I can make a significant impact in your business by getting you ranked on the front page of Google. I would like for you to get with my team so that we can analyze your business and tell you whether or not we can rank you. If we can't, we'll just tell you right up front, hey, look, this the, here's the steps that you need to do over time in order to get to there but if i can rank you we will tell you now our seo program uh there is an investment and it's um for the amount that you make as a return on that investment it's puny in my opinion um but it's over a thousand dollars for our monthly program every month you just want to let everybody well okay it's closer to two thousand dollars than it is a thousand dollars so you know what you're getting into but you can get 
legitimate, very high quality phone calls from this lead source. I consider it the fundamental. It's database marketing, referral partner marketing, and then getting these leads from Google. Those are your three business drivers. So if you would like more information on how we can help you do that, what I want you to do is go to the show notes, okay? Or go to www.cigrowthcall.com, cigrowthcall.com and book a one-on-one consultation with our team. We'll get with you, see if we can help you. And that's that. I really hope that you enjoyed this special episode of the Loan Officer Wealth Podcast. If you're on iTunes, make sure you hit us with a five-star rating and review. That definitely helps us rank in the mortgage podcast category. If you have a friend that is looking for more clients and customers, I'm talking an established realtor. They have to be a real estate team, and we only deal with real estate agents by referral. If you have a wealth manager, an insurance company, we're even helping some moving companies in some marketplaces. All of our clients come to us by referrals from our mortgage clients, but the front page of Google is so powerful in so many of these industries, this can make a massive impact, especially in those industries that I mentioned. So if you know somebody that's in business that's looking for more local customers, please make an introduction, share this podcast episode with them, send them over to Connection Incorporated, make sure they mention your name uh, when they come over because we have a very special thank you for everybody that sends us a referral. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you on the next episode of the Loan Officer Wealth Podcast.